I won you all to meet Savannah, who was a 15-year-old little black girl who was victimized by this 25-year-old white man. Now, what did Daniel Campbell do? He groomed Savannah when she was only 15 years old and he was 25 and he had two children with her. He also has multiple domestic violent cases against him for hurting her. Hi, my name is Savannah. I was kidnapped at the age of 15 by an older white male that was 25. But you won't believe what the judge did. He completely dismissed it because the district attorney, Krista Menzel, completely lied to the judge and withheld evidence. On top of that, Daniel has been accused for calling his children that he had with Savannah, his little nigglets and his pets. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maren and I'm Maureen. So in today's video, I want us to focus on mindful parents, especially parents who have teenagers. So imagine your 15 year old girl goes missing. And this is because of a palm colored man, a palm colored man who is 25 years old and has been grooming your daughter and father goes on to kidnap her and lock her in the basement, in his own basement. Right, as if this is not worse enough, imagine him having Having two kids with this uh, 15 year old and then later on he gets granted custody of these two children whom he goes further on to refer to as his little pets and his little nigglets nigglets for the hard for the hard n word yeah and he calls them nigglets because of how small they are you know mm. so which gets us wondering if he can treat his own flesh and blood like this yeah mm. if he can refer to them as nigglets can you imagine how much res racism he exposes uh, black people who are not affiliated with him right so guys what are we talking about let's watch this video and then we come back and talk about it but i want to give a special shout out to eric branston because we got this video from his channel right. so let's watch and then we come back and talk about it yeah remember if you've not subscribed please remember to do so if you can and also leave us a comment on what you think about this video let's watch as you can see in this court document right here, calls him his little nigglet and his pet. But you want to know what Daniel's friends do? And yeah, you know this friend right here, Steven? You know, the one Daniel was replying to? They dress up in blackface. But oh wait, we had this court commissioner, Lisa Kruger, who put a complete court order to make Savannah remove all of her content talking about how she was a victim. And she took the rights from Savannah to see her kids and gave the kids full custody to Daniel. So when Savannah's video got removed, and got reposted, everybody tagged me. I flew out to Wisconsin, I met with Savannah, an entire investigation on Savannah's case, and got all these documents from the police and the court to find out what the truth was. Because everybody wanted to come for Savannah without actually knowing the facts. Yeah, Daniel kept her in this little white house. I'm sorry, let me show you the inside. Yeah, this is the inside all throughout the house and he kept their babies in the basement too and i know what you're thinking why wasn't cps called oh they were numerous of times in fact there's many documents of them highlighting how the mistreatment and living conditions were horrible but the judge judged us dismissed it oh yeah and the doctor he didn't even report when Savannah came into the hospital at 16 years old, impregnated by a 25-year-old, which he's supposed to do. Let's take it back to Daniel and what he did to this girl. And don't take my word for it. Let's take the police. When we would disagree about something like that, he would often me. And he did last night. He me in the face and by my hair and drew me around by my hair. He me into the bedroom and he kept me in the face and my head into the Oh, but it gets worse she admitted that she armed herself with the at one point after he had struck her to protect herself but she had not actually done anything with the once in the basement it was at this point campbell admitted that he had thrown durr's phone savannah's phone and broken it yeah this phone at this point campbell did show me a few videos that he had on his phone there appeared to be five or six that i could see this is speaking as the cop one of the videos shows that savannah durr is sitting on the couch with her children near her she is holding a large frying pan in defense manner, and the person talking to the video, apparently Campbell, seems to be moving toward her as she is screaming. Campbell is narrating the video. Campbell acknowledges at one point from, from that video, it appeared that he was instigating the situation. On another video I saw, Durr holding two kitchen out in front of her she is standing in the kitchen in the corner up against the counter in defense this is from the police campbell daniel campbell 
is recording her saying things like, look how she is. All these other things you. This guy right here, all because of what Christian Menzel reported to the judge. This woman right here said, while the state could prove this case, I don't believe further criminal action is necessary. Even though there was a nine year age gap between Daniel at 25 and Savannah at 16 years old, which led to the judge dismissing the entire case. Everybody meet Lawanda Durr. For the ones who don't know, she is the mother of Savannah Durr. Now, everybody's been asking, where were the parents? What happened to the parents when all this happened to Savannah? But I also promised Savannah that I would not bash her mother. But she also wants the truth to be known, so just hear me out, okay? Lawanda left Savannah back in Wisconsin when she was 15 years old, all because she went to Alabama, where she met this man, and she fell in love and has been with him ever since. Which is exactly when Daniel, who was 25 at the time, and Savannah was 15, swooped in and made his move. Savannah was 15, living in the apartment by herself, and the rent wasn't being paid. The Ripon Police Department showed up to do a checkup on her and the people in that apartment because, well, there was an eviction. The Ripon Police Department saw that Savannah was living there by herself with no parental guidance whatsoever, and yet they still did nothing about it. Before any of this happened, Daniel thought it was a great idea to get Savannah's social media account because he was the maintenance guy at Savannah's building, and he started grooming her months on end. And that's when Savannah started living with Daniel. But Savannah isn't the only one that Daniel has done this to. In fact, Daniel has a history of doing this with other minor teenage girls who are as low as the age of 14 years old. Some of these girls have actually come forward and sent messages to Savannah saying that Daniel did the exact same thing to them as they did to Savannah. Saying things like, he would crush me, I would get told I was disgusting, or he totally isolated me from everyone I knew. Now I blocked out their names and I didn't show their pictures because it was for their own safety. But before Daniel even met Savannah, he had a history. And I want to keep Daniel as the main topic of this video because he is the epitome of white privilege. Now in 2008, Daniel had grand theft auto charges, stealing a vehicle, somebody's car, and it was dismissed. Charges and trying to attempt to sell it was dismissed. Domestic disputes. Dismissed. With the minor. Dismissed. Even when they saw the videos of him doing those horrible things to Savannah, which Daniel showed to the police. Dismissed. In fact, every criminal charge that Daniel Campbell got has been dismissed. Now. I know exactly why every criminal charge that Daniel Campbell has ever gotten has been dismissed. In fact, we have disproven every individual involved in this case from the district attorney to the babysitter to the judges to the police. Even one individual that I haven't even name dropped yet. So I'm glad you watched my videos because it's time that we get justice for Savannah Durr and every other girl that you have groomed and hurt physically and emotionally. And I can't wait to see you in court. My name's Eric Stoll. Doses. So guys, welcome back. Let us know what you think about this episode on the comment section. One thing I have to bring forward is um, let's acknowledge the number of people who failed this young lady. Yeah, as Eric, the speaker on the video stated, mm -hmm. when this girl was going to give birth at 16 years old, most hospitals usually are required to, you know, let the law know if mm -hmm. a young kid is giving birth in their hospital. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, this young girl, nobody noticed fed the authorities that she was in a relationship with a much older person right another person who should top the list is her mother right guys how sad does it have to be just think about it when a mother abandons her 15 year old goes on to live in goes on into a different state altogether just because of a man totally forgetting that you're living behind a daughter you don't pay rent for her so i'm even wondering how did this kid manage to feed herself this really brings forth Forth, um the kind of situations that lead predators to such children yeah and i feel left like vulnerable right and i feel like this predator knew exactly who to mm -hmm. target because he knew the home situation of mm -hmm. savannah you know mm -hmm. he was the maintenance guy in their building mm -hmm. you know and then this guy this is not the first crime he was committing it's a, it's amazing the amount of 
crimes this guy has gotten away with and the charges that have been dropped despite there being evidence that he has committed these crimes you know mm -hmm. and this is where white supremacy uh, privilege. privilege and uh, you know uh, systemic racism comes to play because he himself even showed the police mm -hmm. videos of what he used to do to Savannah mm -hmm. yet the charges were still dropped mm -hmm. hence the judge also failed Savannah. And if you ask me, the judge also, the court system in its entirety, it failed this girl because how can he or she, the judge, whatever he was or she was, how can they have taken the custody of these kids from their mother and given it to such a vile person who refers to them as neglects? Mm -hmm. You know, and he you doesn't guy, even see them as human beings. Right, and you saw the kind of house this man put his children and he also was putting the kids in the same situation he had Savannah in. He was locking them up in the basement. And what was very interesting is that it's not only Savannah he's done this to. Several girls actually came forward and said he has done similar things to them. Mm -hmm. And why is this man still allowed to walk in the streets mm -hmm. as if he, he is an innocent man? I feel like he has created a long string of victims because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because he has been allowed to get away with so much for so long. Right. When I look at the kind of man Dan is, mm -hmm. I have to say that this is the kind of palm colored pe person who is a self hater. For you to mm -hmm. do this to a, this another, to another human, human being, being, the level of self hate you have for yourself, you can't even go and court women of your own age. Do with you not decency, have decency? You can't just carry yourself with decency. Go find a woman, woman and in decently caught them mm -hmm. you know mm. he you has have to, to go groom to... kids and do vile stuff to them right and for him it's like he finds gratification in putting down children working on their self-esteem because keep in mind these kids the, the youngest victim of dan mm -hmm. has been said to be 14 years old 14 so years old what is, is a 25 kid. year old man doing boosting his confidence with a 45 year old 14 with a 14 year old taking them on dates only to break their confidence and esteem what what kind of when you look in the mirror what kind of person is this type of man and the biggest question to you guys our audience yeah because mostly black americans you live with these uh, people you know yeah. them best yeah mm -hmm. so the biggest question we are asking today and please leave your sentiments on the comment section is dan has gotten away with so much mm -hmm. but imagine if it was a black man in his shoes mm -hmm. a 25 year old black man is in his shoes with a 14 or 15 year old white girl and to make matters worse with a 15 or 14 years old uh, white girl who is blonde with blue eyes how do you think that scenario would have played out how many years do you think this black guy would have gotten for be, for involving himself with a minor right another person we have to put on blast is the da hmm. the da who went on to dismiss the case mm -hmm. and that woman who uh, when Savannah was talking about, because I believe through experiences like this, when you become a survivor, mm -hmm. it's kind of a healing process when you get when on you're the able internet to and talk, talk about it. You find a platform where people listen, listen to, you to you and you. actually believe your story. Yeah, and it's another thing altogether when you try to raise awareness and you for get other silent. sisters, mm -hmm. for other sisters to also know what's happening and to see the red flags, you mm -hmm. know. But look at this DA woman who sent her a court order to delete all the videos right so guys you know what i usually say is human beings learn with the experience of real life situations mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and god's karma is the best karma you know mm -hmm. so for this da woman for the judge um for the police officers god please forgive me but imagine if it was their daughters who went through the same thing savannah went through mm -hmm. or do they need for their daughters to actually go through what savannah went through for them to see the wrong that was committed in her case you know guys we don't, we don't even need rocket science for you to know to figure out what's going on here all these strings of people just leave the mother aside because she's just a failure she's of just a, a failure of a woman you don't do that she was the first child. person to fail savannah. savannah so let's let's look at all these people in law enforcement the mm -hmm. doctor Everybody who was involved at some point in Savannah's life, mm -hmm. but they happened to be palm colored. All these people, do you mean to tell me that nobody saw the wrong in whatever was happening in this situation? Of course, or there is... was racism at play. I feel like, I don't know, guys, you can tell us your views. I, but for me personally, I feel like racism 
had a big factor to play in her situation right. because this pe all these people that failed her i feel like they felt it was better for them to stick with their own person mm -hmm. than to defend a black person you know and you know this is why i normally say palm color people a lot of them have are used to you know getting away with so much, so much. because of white supremacy yeah and white privilege that they really forget how to become accountable for every action Anything that you they get do. but uh, if you remember for those who've not watched yet i'll just mention something about it we did a video about um you know people who are on their deathbeds but and they, they were confessing what they, they did, did to black people throughout their lives i think we'll link it there right yeah. so if, if if these things follow you to your deathbed you have to confess that you've never lived your life in life in peace because of what you did to a certain person of color yeah. so you can imagine this damn person i don't think he has peace in him no like right now he's he just an empty vessel shell. masquerading itself as, as a, a human, human being, being you know mm -hmm. but i think it will really hit him when he's old and can't go anywhere all rugged stinky, stinky and mobilized to Shab. his bed you know mm -hmm. and a black person is the one uh, you Taking know wiping him. his you know behind i it's people like dan that make you you know just get they they, they get the worst out of you mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about this, this episode. Video. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those ones who it's your first time here, kindly consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch you on our, our next, next episode. episode.